Good afternoon, family. So this will be a pretty quick video. I just wanted to check in with you guys and welcome you officially to residency with me. So we have made it to internal medicine residency, you guys. I know that there are a lot of you who have been riding with me from when I was in my second or third year of medical school to now. So it is very just enlightening and hopefully encouraging um, to see that we've made it to this point. I hope that this serves as a reminder that there is always a next step, right? Everything you're doing, everything you're working toward, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there will always be a next chapter in the book, even though it feels like you might feel so stuck at where you are or that it's never ending or that you don't understand why, you know, you have to do certain things. It all serves a purpose in this grand scheme of careers in medicine and becoming a physician or a nurse or a PT or a PA or wherever you are. So we have officially made it, you guys. Today is my first day of residency. So I was in orientation for the last week and orientation was pretty light. We were just in trainings and whatnot, but today is my first official shift. So it's Sunday. I am starting on night float, you guys. So I'm starting on night shifts and I'm going to do a completely separate video dedicated to breaking down what the life and schedule of an intern resident is like, specifically in internal medicine. I want to preface all of my residency experiences and everything you're going to see about what my life is like these days um, by saying that I am in internal medicine and every person's experience, every intern and resident's experience varies depending on their program, depending on their specialty, um, depending on, you know, a lot of different stuff. So I can only share my experiences as an internal medicine resident, as an internal medicine intern resident, um, at my specific program. So I'm starting on night float, you guys. I am going to specifically be on the cardiology solid oncology team. So basically what that means is that I will be covering the cardiology and oncology like solid cancers because there's also oncology like leukemia, um, but I'm going to be covering the cardiology and an oncology patients during the night. So that's a lot of patients because it's two different services. Uh, but at night, you know, like most, most of the time, the day team has kind of like done everything that needs to be done urgently. And at night, it's kind of just making sure they're, they're okay, that they're okay during the night, that they're, you know, their pain is controlled and things, at least from what I think, <laughs> my perspective, obviously it's my first day out here. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. So I will have updates as I learn exactly what my responsibilities are on this rotation. But as far as what I've been told and as I understand it, I'm kind of just making sure the patients are okay overnight and I'm making sure a lot of patients are covered. Um, so my first official shift starts tonight at 7 p.m. So it's 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. It is currently 2.04 p.m. Um, I tried to kind of like shift over my schedule I don't know exactly how to do that, you know, like I didn't know exactly when I should sleep, when I should wake up to make sure that I was well rested for tonight. I think honestly for the first day or so, I'm going to just have to probably be tired and then adjust accordingly, like my circadian rhythm will readjust. But my plan is today, so I woke up this morning, I've kind of just been tidying up around the house, you know, getting things ready for today. And then I plan to take a nap at about three so in about an hour i'm gonna try to get in like a a two hour nap or so so that i'm kind of a little bit well rested going into the shift so that i'm not tired like three hours into the shift because that would be my normal like bedtime so i'm gonna try to squeeze in a nap here in a bit um but i just wanted to check in with you guys and welcome you officially to residency with me um i'm so excited to start this chapter you guys i know it's gonna be Ooh, 
whew, it's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of highs and lows, but as always in my purpose in my channel and in you know showing you guys my life in this aspect of things is always to be authentic and show you the real. Um, so hopefully this still serves that purpose. So I don't know, to be honest, how available and accessible I'm gonna be during residency. Um, I would imagine that I'm going to be a lot more busy than I was as a medical student, but that's not to say that I'm not gonna be here. I hope and plan, my plan right now, is to do weekly check-ins, like weekly vlogs, like my week on X rotation as an intern resident, you know? So it might be quick videos, they might be just, you know, telling you guys about cool or interesting or traumatic or you know highs and lows of the week but it's something and i think i can manage that at least for the time being on my one day off a week to do a quick check-in with you guys um so hopefully you know continue to send me suggestions things you guys want to know things you guys want to see and i will hopefully be able to manage that on my day off before i jump into this nap i wanted to show you guys kind of what i'm doing to prepare for night shifts right because I'm going to be sleeping during the daytime when it's light out. That poses a challenge for someone to fall asleep when our bodies, you know, respond to the light in such a way as we're supposed to be awake. So a recommendation that I've gotten from a lot of residents during the night float rotations is to use like blackout curtains or blackout shades and keep your room as dark as possible so that the light doesn't disrupt your ability to sleep, you know, in preparation for your night shift. So luckily for me because i just bought my house and i hadn't had curtain rods installed yet i already had some like cardboard paper on the windows and because i didn't want people to see in because i don't have curtains yet and that although you can kind of see the light coming through a little bit it really does block the light out really well and then as far as from the light from the bathroom bringing in a lot of light so i have closed pin doors so just close that so you can see it's getting really dark in here and then from the downstairs hallway you can see some light coming in so then I'll just shut my door so it's kind of a little red in here because of the cardboard paper coming through but I might even try to get a blackout something to put over here in addition to the paper actually I just decided to do it right now you guys so this is what it looks like out of the bag. It's just like cardboard paper. You can use it to like wrap things when you're moving or you know, I guess like what I'm doing, but I'm essentially just gonna put another layer of this on the window for extra blackout effect. I'm also gonna try to like put it in the corner here to stop any light coming in from the corner. So I'm gonna kind of like squeeze it into the corner and cover some of this too. Ah, I'm not very tired right now, so I don't think I'm going to sleep too well anyway during this nap. So I'm not sure how well this is even going to work, but as long as it works for when I actually am tired, when I get off tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., that will be the purpose. All right, so I just put on the second layer of cardboard paper. Let's see if it changed any of the blackoutness of the of the light in the room. All right, so let's start with I close the door. I'm going to turn off the light first and then I'll turn close the bathroom door just so we can see a little bit. All right. So it already looks darker. You can't see any of that like red that red like light that was coming through. So now let me shut the bathroom door. It might get really dark in here. You guys might not be able to see me anymore, but that means it's working, you know? So let's see. Wow. Oh, I see a little peak of, I see a little peak of light coming through there. I might tape that down so that we're not getting anything. Wow, you guys, it is dark in here. Clearly you can't see me at all. You can kind of see some light here cracking through the bathroom. If I wanted to, I can seal that up, but I think it's dark enough in here that that little sliver of light is not going to be the make or break for me to be able to fall asleep. Like it's dark enough that I'm gonna think it's time to go to bed when I get home from work. Wow, that second layer of cardboard paper was a game changer. And here I was thinking like, 
oh, like I still have cardboard paper up on my windows, you know, like I need to get my stuff together and get these curtain rods hung up. And look at that, it ended up being an advantage. So I'm on this night float rotation for two weeks. So best believe those, <laughs> those cardboard pieces of paper are staying up for the next two weeks at least. So don't judge me that I don't have curtains up there. Um, my living room has curtains, but this actually works for me while I'm on nights. So all right guys, well, I'm gonna use this blackoutness and take my nap and then we're gonna get ready for work in about two hours. If I can sleep, if I can't, you know, I'm not gonna force it and I'll just get up and start preparing to go and everything, but I'm going to at least try to put myself to sleep. I'm like a baby that doesn't wanna go to sleep, but my body's just not adjusted yet. So if I can't do it, I can't do it. And tonight's just gonna be a really rough night and I'll probably crash tomorrow and then it'll reset my cycle, but we'll see. So check in with you guys in a bit. You guys, I've been laying here trying to force myself to go to sleep and it's just not happening. <laughs> like, I've been trying it, it's not working. All right guys, I'm just throwing some Trader Joe's wontons into the air fryer to eat like dinner, I guess, really quickly because I don't know what I'm, so, like when I'm supposed to eat. Because <laughs> I didn't sleep, you know, like theoretically I probably would have been sleeping all of that time and then I would eat overnight on my shift. But because I'm not adjusted yet, I'm hungry now. So I'm going to eat now. And if I'm not hungry later tonight, then I just won't be hungry. I'm gonna pack my bag and make sure I have enough stuff like snacks and coffee and water and all of that because I haven't, you know, oriented myself to the hospital yet. So I don't know if like the cafeteria and the Starbucks and the cafes and stuff are open at night, like what time they close and stuff. So, and I'm just not trying to spend excess amounts of money. So, um, so I'm just gonna bring a lot of stuff to get me through the night if I get hungry. Yeah, I'm wearing officially, now I'm able to wear these, my figs with my name and MD on them. I've had these since my final year of medical school last year. Um, they got like the meta discounted price and whatnot. So we got them with the MD, but you know, I wasn't able to wear them. That's weird. So now I'm officially, I guess, a doctor. <laughs> Woo! It, it really hasn't hit me yet until probably I get there tonight and they're like, oh, here's your 40 patients. And I'm going to be like, what? Like, what's a patient? You know, what's a physical exam? I don't know what I'm doing. It's my first day out here. All right, guys, I got my bag all packed here. You guys can see they gave us these cute little backpacks, which I love because I love swag. I love representing. But basically in here, I have my work phone. Um, and charger, I have my parking pass, and N95, just all that stuff. So I've made it my mission to not buy a lot of coffee at the hospital because I know I will spend hundreds of dollars just on coffee. So I make my own, literally at home, my own cold brew. So I use Starbucks cold brew. Um, this is the dark roast unsweetened just because I like creamer. So the creamer will give it enough sweeten for me. And then I make it in here with ice and my creamers that I want. The silicone straw is dope because it literally folds up. It's bendable. So I fold it up in there and then it's good. And you can see it along the edge. And then I'll just open it at work when I get there. So that is going to be my way to save funds on coffee. The cold brew Starbucks is only, for that jug, is only like $5. I spend $9 easily on a single drink at Starbucks. So already I'm saving money and that probably lasts me like a few days if I'm, you know, if I drink responsibly. But yeah, so that's going to save me a lot of money. So I got like three of those big jugs. It was like $16 and that hopefully will last me at least like for the two weeks of night shift. Um, so go homemade coffee. Don't spend money, you guys, on coffee, especially if you're a a coffee drinker you know how easily those funds can add up so don't get me wrong i love my starbucks i'll probably splurge every once in a while but this is going to be a regular thing so i gotta find other ways right so continuing with the bag tour inside i have my water my water bottle it's empty right now because i'm gonna fill it up at the hospital but that i have my dinner <laughs> or what i packed for dinner it's basically just overnight oats um, so oatmeal with cranberries and pecans on top. Um, and then I just have snacks. So I have fruit, 
I have granola bars, I have a biscotti in there, so just things if I get hungry through the night. So it's six o'clock, I am going to head out to, you know, give myself some leeway, some time to find the parking garage, to walk to the hospital, to inevitably get lost and have to ask for directions and, you know, just don't wanna be late on my first day. Um, so yeah, you guys see the fit. Sorry, excuse all the shoes in the background, but got fig scrubs, my pin, um, sweater, my pen medicine backpack, um, and my ID badge, so. Oh, and my stethoscope. My stethoscope is on the side. Where is it? And my stethoscope, I almost forgot that. Um, so yeah, we're off to our first day, you guys. It feels like the first day of school. First day of residency, new chapter unlocked. Can't wait, I will have a lot to share with you guys at the end of this week, after this first week of night shift. So be sure you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop of my life and what's going on with residency and even home ownership. I'm still getting this house together. So a lot of big changes on the horizon. I'm also going to be chatting about the application and interview season for all the M4s, all the almost graduating medical students. That process comes up fast and um, I'll give my you know tips and advice and hidden gems about that season for you guys so be sure you're subscribed stay tuned as always stay safe stay well i love you family welcome to the next chapter